Uh, my name is Sandy Marshall. I'm, pres I'm executive director for Bioindustrial Innovation Canada. For any of you who don't know me, I guess I'd just like to kind of talk a little bit about what I've seen this morning. And as many of you who have been part of this community have seen uh, again, uh, this all started a number of years ago with, with a local community working very hard to, to attract and create a cluster, with our first success story being BioAmber, uh, who decided to join us here and has invested some significant money. As, as you've seen today with the presentations from Comet and others, and uh, Biox uh, coming in and, and buying the, uh, the local uh, site, you're starting to see a critical mass start to develop here in the Sarnia Lambton region. And now we've got a sugar supply chain that is, that is emerging with Comet and the, and the Cellulosic Sugar Co-op. And you've got BioAmber, who's filling out that value chain. I would like to add to that, we've got a very interesting announcement to make today. We had our board meeting yesterday, the Bioindustrial Innovation Canada board met. And we've been continuing to work with a lot of companies, trying to attract them into the Sarnia area or embed them into the ecosystem. And today, I, we're just now putting out a press release that uh, we've approved an investment in a new company that's going to join us here in the Sarnia Lambton area. Their name is Origin Biomaterials. Whether, uh, and so I'll give you a little bit of background of Origin. Uh, Origin is a company out of Sacramento, California. They have a very interesting technology. If you saw a slide up there from Ann Waddell, she talked about the 12 base chemicals that came out of the NREL report from 2004. In there, succinic acid was one of those 12 base chemicals. Another one of those base chemicals on that is a company called, is a product called FDCA. It's basically a base chemical that through an oxidation process, you can take that through and convert it into uh, PEF, which is polyethylene furfurol, which is actually what's used will be used to make the uh, replacement or version of the green coat bottle or the PET replacement. So this company is one of two companies we know of today in the world who have a platform to build this chemical up. One of them is a company that many of us know named Avantium. And Avantium has been very active in this space for many, many years. We've had many discussions with Avantium over the years and they recently have chose to build the first, their first commercial facility in Rotterdam, uh, Netherlands, uh, in partnership with BASF. So today, I'm very excited to be able to announce that Origin Materials is coming from Sacramento, California, and is committing to build their first uh, pioneer plant here in Sarnia, Ontario, uh, and will be locating on the Arlanxio site. And, uh, and, one of, and we've been working with them now for a number of months, and it's very exciting that, that we can be part of, uh, of uh, working with them and, and building out our cluster and adding a second platform chemical to the, to the cluster that's emerging here. Uh, there's really two prime products we make. Their plant will produce 10,000 tons of, of CMF, which is chloromethylferferol, which is actually the precursor to make bio-based paraxylene, which allows you to go straight to PET and make make a, a, an exact replica of the current PET bottles and products that are made. And the other is to take that through the FDCA route, oxidize it through to PEF, and make a, a, a plastic film, plastic product, which actually has better barrier properties than PET, and so it will end up in a lot of uh, uh, thin film, barrier film applications. Uh, with, the, with Origin are coming a large number of companies through consortia working on plastics and there'll be other, other interesting additions I'm sure to, uh, to our work with Origin over the years and so I just wanted to, I thought that was such an exciting piece today and uh, that we as a board have made a, an investment in them as part of, uh, of attracting them here to join us in southern Ontario to build out our hybrid chemistry cluster. And one of the reasons it's very important there is this is coming through our Center of Commercialization of Sustainable Chemistry Initiatives, which is the funding we get from uh, FedDev Ontario and the Ontario government through the Ministry of Research, Innovation and Science. So it is uh, through ComSci that we've been able to do this and without our support from the federal government through FedDev Ontario and through the provincial government through MRIS, we would never have been able to put together our ComSci initiative that we are able to do today to invest and support projects 
to help early stage companies who are working in the clean, green, and sustainable chemistry space. So uh, thank you to our government partners, and, uh, it's, and uh, it's a very exciting day for us. In my personal opinion, this is as, almost as big, it's almost or is as big an announcement as the day BioAmper chose to come to Sarnia. So this is a big deal. Thank you very much. Thank you.